All right, what's happening? We back again, another episode of REOP. Y'all know what time it is. It's Mr. Jefferson. Hey, man, it's your boy, Ampavelli, man. We back again. Like my Cole said, another episode, REOP. Got a special guest in the building, man. I don't know if y'all can hear it. It's going crazy outside right now. <laughs> yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> no cap. Cats and dogs outside. Like, like, yeah, no cat. Like, it's going insane out there. So <laughs> I don't, I'm pretty sure none of it going to pick up, but if y'all do hear the rain, it's going <laughs> insane out here. But anyway, our guest pulled up. He said, fuck it. I'm <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> Just in time, actually. But if he ain't made, he said, going to pull up on a boat or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, straight <laughs> up. No cat. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, got a special guest. I'll let him introduce himself. Hey, y'all, how you doing? Wait, should I look over here or over here? All right, cool, bet. <laughs> so, um, I'm Justin. I'm famous. I am a promoter, actor, model, event coordinator, host, content creator, a bunch of shit I do. <laughs> Basically, yeah. A little bit of everything. Yeah, so, everything, yeah. Uh, yeah. At what point did you start to take on all of these hats? It was like it was like over the years. I caught on to different things. It wasn't just all at once, you right? Know what right. Because twenty nineteen, I was a promoter. Okay. Then, in the following years, in the following year, months after, I was a model. Then the following, like next year, like I did content. Then, you no know saying. So it just over time, I got more skills. Got gotcha, you. Okay. Gotcha. So like just like over the years, you just picked up more stuff. Like. What made you just want to be, I mean, what made you just want to, like, do everything at once? Like, just be a man or, like, a jack of all trades, pretty much. I mean, like, it, I mean, it's cool to have one skill, mm -hmm. but it's better to, like, when you have more stuff in your resume, so people notice you, be like, oh, okay, damn, he's pretty he's pretty skilled. Like, he yeah, does everything, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I could be, like, like one track minded, mm -hmm. but that's too small for me. You know I hear that. Like, well, like, if I go in, I'm going to go all the way in. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've, so, Oh my fault. No, 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 go ahead. Uh I feel like I know the answer to this question, but do you feel like you juggling too many things at once or or uh, at times? Um at times, um, sometimes yeah, cause like cause I want to focus on one thing, but then again, like if I have an acting gig or if I go to like a casting call, mm. I got to like worry about or if I'm having an event, I gotta worry about these different things that like at the moment that shouldn't be worried about, but that's how I work. So right, it's kinda right. like yeah. Definitely understand that. Um, man, I had a great question and I, I just forgot it. <laughs> um, so with the content creating, tell us about some of the, the media that you produce. Is it focused primarily on, on you know, like social media engagement? Is it, you know, uh, production level for artists or for brands, things of that sort? Yeah, um, right now I'm doing like social media as like TikTok. And Instagram, and then what um, I venture out to local events to where I may collaborate with some other folks I may know to create short films or appear in like music videos and gotcha. like shit like that. Right, uh, that's actually a great segue point because uh, I'm familiar with uh, Jay Brack, very familiar. Shout out to shout out to you. Right, that's uh, my dog. My yeah. Yeah, man. Big, big shout out to Jay Brack, man. I've known him <laughs> a long time, man. And he's doing big, big things. Right, right. Um, so I saw that you were in his video, uh, Superpowers. How was that? <laughs> Bruh, that was like my first time doing like like um doing like physical stunts ever. Which is crazy. <laughs> like like that fight scene took more than fifteen minutes. Really? Yeah, it took a long time to like uh practice what we're doing make sure like hey if we're gonna hit each other yeah, like, yeah here's how. like we gotta fully do it. And like he 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 said he wanna hit me. I'm like, dude hit me like yeah, yeah. i want to make sure that that shot looks real you know what right I'm saying? so yeah like it was it was, a, it was a great day to like pretend to be like a fighter from like an arcade machine yeah for day. sure video came out dope we're gonna get jeremy on soon so right um, yeah, 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 i got to for sure for sure so we'll break down the video when he comes and get his <laughs> uh perspective on it and everything but um i see you do a lot of work with him so uh tell us a little bit about the flow wave fest um flow wave um Flow Wave is an experience that, like, it was incredible. Like, um, shout out my boy Dylan. Um, he's one of the creators of Flow Wave. Um, it's like an outdoors, like, like um, rolling loud, but it's a more, like, inclusive event to where it's not all spread out. It's one area, right. like, two or three stages, like, rolling loud, but it's more closer. And, like, it was a real vibe to just, like, 
come out, jam, this is some rock and roll, rap, hip hop. So like it was a great experience For overall. Sure. That's yeah. dope. I never even like that's that's in Jacksonville? Yeah. Oh uh, no, um uh that's, that's in Palm Coast. Palm oh. Coast, okay. Yeah, I was like, because I was thinking like we need like more like hip hop type festivals and right, festivals. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so tell us about some of the projects you got in the works right now. Ooh, projects. Okay. Um, well, right now, um, evidently, I'm trying to work on a podcast as well. You know what I'm saying? This has been going on for like over a year and a half now. I ain't right. gonna lie. I'm trying to find my own spot, my own camera, microphones, and I ain't think that hard, but it's pretty hard, yeah. Takes a lot, definitely takes a lot to, um, to, you know, do it to a major level and such, but uh, it's nothing to start, you know what I mean? To get started with, right. uh, you know, a small, uh, what was it, the uh, blue mic? Yeah, we snowball. the blue snowball mic. Yeah, yeah, snowball, gradually, you know, yeah, record we straight keep, from We keep it in that drawer right there as like a souvenir, like this is where we started at, dude. Like, That's crazy. For sure. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad that you tapped in with us, because now you can just DM us anytime you got any right, questions. Right. We're going to answer any question you got. For sure, so that's that's dope. So that's you got the pot. It's like on the ground floor right now. Um, yeah, like it is, it's, it's building up. I'm trying to release it probably in March by my birthday. Yeah, I'll hey man, do yeah. that shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, man, definitely more power to you with it, man. Um, and then, like he said, if you ever need us as a resource, don't hesitate. You know oh yeah, what I mean? I'm definitely be able like, to, I'm yeah. definitely tap in for sure. So. Um, I feel like we got to do a drip check, man. Like, uh, tell us about your fit, man. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little uh, bit about your fit. These rings cost like five thousand each. Yeah. <laughs> um, nah, man. Um, got these custom uh, Dragon Ball uh, Z shoes um, from the website. I forgot what it's called, but um, yeah, um, these pants are from Ross. They were uh, ten dollars. <laughs> um, Walmart uh, Star Wars shirt, ten dollars. Um, this custom made Star Wars uh, denim jacket. Um, now that jacket's hard. Right? Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. That, I love that you jacket. Do. Yeah, a shout out my girl Jasmine uh, from New Jersey. She's lit. Like, it, Cut, she's a, did a custom paint. Yeah, custom paint. That's yeah, hard, yeah, that's, that's hard, hard to tell, that man. Jasmine, yeah. you went crazy. Yeah, dumb, <laughs> dumb crazy. Like it's for wild. sure. And then I mean, the complimented with the Dragon Ball Z kicks is dope, man. Right. So <laughs> Thanks, that was actually one of my questions because I was on your page a lot uh, researching, and I was like. I was gonna ask you Did like what research is your, on me. Okay, okay. Of course, we had to man. Interesting. Okay. We do we research on all like that. <laughs> so I was looking at your page, I was like, man, like he he definitely seemed like he liked anime. So I was gonna ask you, what's your favorite anime? Because I don't really watch anime oh, like shit. that. So let's, I need some suggestions. Yeah, let's 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 talk him into it. <laughs> okay, so like, I'm, st I'm still on the fence. I need some good stuff. He suggestions. don't wanna listen to me. <laughs> okay, so so like what do you like? Do you like straight action? Do you want story? Do you want See I'm just like a novice, man. I don't really I would prefer like the action shit. Like I wanna see some fights. Cause I did watch Dragon Ball Z as a kid, and I like that. I like the episode where they fought a lot, but yeah. I did like the dialogue episode. You know the episodes where they just stand in one spot for like thirty <laughs> right. minutes. They, they, they stand in spot for like more than a day and just talk. Yeah, yeah. they scream for like six episodes. They yeah. yell in three football fields of <laughs> and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I did like those episodes. I mean, it's got a great storyline. It, it definitely draws you in, but right. I feel like they got some great ones today. So right. Okay, um, what I would recommend, I would, yeah, I will say Dragon Ball Z. Then I would say One Piece. Even though it's long as shit, it's a thousand episodes. If you, like, put it in parts for days, you can be able to watch it all. Then, of course, I will say Bleach because it came back on Hulu. Mm -hmm. it, it's fine. Um, damn, I will also recommend um, um, my favorite of all time, Girl Log On, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. And then I would say Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix. All right. Yeah, Seven Deadly Sins is a gotcha. great. It's fine. It's none, of, none of those animes, those weird animes. Oh no, you know, no, okay. no, nah, no, 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 no. I'm on. <laughs> I'm on list for that. If you want to know that, I'm on list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The Freak Bull list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just say just that freaky anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big busty anime. <laughs> 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 Don't sleep. <laughs> uh, so another one 
that I would recommend to anybody that's like a novice looking to get into it early on and they are looking for action. Netflix is a is a good uh, place to start just because I feel like you can easily, uh, th their animation is easily adaptable, you know right, what I'm saying, yeah. um, or acceptable. Uh, but uh, Record of Ragnarok was oh, good. Oh, yeah, bro. Record of Ragnarok bro, was really I'm reading good. the manga, bro. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Um, see, I'm just now getting into the mangas. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I like I like animes because I'm a big fan of cartoons and animation, you right, know? Yeah. But um, I, I, I always hear the manga has so much more of a story to it. It does, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, what's some more you watch? Some more of your favorites. I want to lie and say, like, I watched Naruto. Like, I skipped Naruto. It went to, like, Shippuden. Okay. Because um, yeah, uh, Naruto is my favorite anime, but I watch it because I, it's, it's there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, there's a lot on my list. Like, it's crazy because uh, I will watch Soul Eater. Mm. It may get a little raunchy with the, with the, with the females, so be careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a that's like an anime check mark. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it ain't got some uh, titties falling right. out or something, <laughs> titties, <laughs> titties hey, on somebody's head or hey, something. Man, we, we, gr we grown, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it still don't like none of that shit be oh. necessary, bro. <laughs> it don't. I tried bro. to watch uh, this show on Netflix, Bastardy. And that one's really good, but mm. it's just too overly perverted. Oh, and then man. there's like this weird fetish with Japanese animation oh, to yeah. where like um men be like on the they 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 like um I forget what the um Prince androgynous. Androgynous. They're yeah. very androgynous. You know what I mean? To where like you can't tell if it's man or woman. Oh yeah. You know? Oh, okay. And um it's just really weird, you know what I mean? And it's nothing against that. It's just to say that I don't understand why it's so prevalent in 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 the anime. So, I mean, I guess like for the for the for Japanese artists, it's easier for them to just make them ambiguous of gender, so like they don't have to say keep saying or he or she, just make it. Funny. Yeah, because like even in Naruto. Um, I forget his name, but the uh, the clown guy, like, he's not a clown, but that's what his uh, makeup and shit is. Um, damn, man, he one of the, like, he one of the best characters in that shit. Uh, but um, he was, like, very fond of, of Naruto, like, overly fond. And it was, like, this weird obsession with him, so... It just be weird shit, you know what I mean? That um Oh, kinda like I did watch Yu-Gi-Oh. What was the dude named Pegasus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was like obsessed with them. Yu-Gi yeah. Boy. Yeah, yeah. that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was kinda too much. Oh, like, yeah, come on now. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I tried back. watching uh JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, bro. I I I, I, I bro, let me okay, so I watched five episodes, I stopped. I was yeah. like, bro, this is too much for me. This shit is really weird. I <laughs> bro. Was like, man, I don't know what's going on. Like they're not even telling a story anymore. It's just <laughs> just grown men having their shirts off. Yeah, it's just and, a bunch like, of like wondering like who is really a male or a female because we don't know right so yeah and it make can get weird man and make can get so weird. i'm saying like where do you want to go with this right, <laughs> like, right. well, i'm gonna take i'm gonna take both of y'all lists i'm gonna combine it and get to watch it i think they're all on hulu right for, for the most yeah, part. I mean, uh, uh, hulu, hulu um netflix you can see some what's that, this crunchy crunchy roll. Roll. yeah country yeah. country roll got it all crunchy roll got everything bro. man i got that shit on the tv you ever want to watch some anime man, man you lock in it's man. crazy death note oh, oh man. yeah De death death note bro. is a great one bro. and uh the other one now these are two of my top ones like as far as i could watch them over and over death note and um parasite oh, i okay. thought parasite was really good they, I wish that they told the story in a way that it could have continued. Yeah. But Parasite is only one season, so it's a really easy digest. Right. Yeah. Okay. And like, and like, it's crazy that like Death Note is like an OG type shit. Cause like, I'll say some OG shit now too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I'll say some uh, the Death Note in Yasha Trigun. Mm -hmm. That was a Cartoon Network a long time ago. I'm Toonami. Um, shit. Like, it's a it's a lot, bro. That like you can 
I dive into. Yeah, I got a shout out to a lot of our uh, listeners, man, because uh, I put it on net, um, Twitter rather that I was looking for some new anime once, and now uh, everybody flooded me, man. So <laughs> There's too many people to shout out for real. Um, but man, again, I appreciate everybody, and uh, you know, in our Discord, we're gonna have a we're gonna have to add an anime section now. Mm, okay, you got to now. Got to. All right. So I got to do that in the fighting one. Yeah, bro for all. <laughs> Man, and I posted a great fight in our group chat that should have went in the bra for all today. But <laughs> So, tell us more, man. How did you uh how did you stumble into acting? Okay. Um folks know about me, but I'm a I'm a huge movie nerd. Like I watch movies like like every day all day, like 10 times in a row. Like I watched Kill Bill with my dad like thousands of times yeah. over and over again because it looks so raw. Like this bitch is cutting people's heads off, like I love that fighting. Movie. I'm yeah. like, bro, it's like movies, bro, and TV shows. They gave me a world to escape to. You know what I'm saying, as a kid, to where like I can become that character, or I can do that scene my own way, or I can look at it from their point of view as director. But like, okay, this is pretty good. How it's shot, some cinematography, the setting, the dialogue is all good. That interests me as a kid. To the point, I was like, I won't do that when I grow up. Yeah. Just become that character and just dive deep into that mentality of acting. I feel that. So uh, it was always something that you wanted yeah, to yeah, pursue. Yeah, it, it was always something I wanted to do. Yeah. And then how did the opportunity present itself? Was it something that you sought out? Did somebody come to you and, and say, you know, hey, I, I got a role I think that you could fit into? Or, I mean, again, like, um, earlier in my career, I was just appearing in, uh, uh, in music videos. But then again, my boy Jimmy Ryan, he came through. <laughs> he, gave, he gave me my first acting gigs. So officially, yeah, like that's when I knew this is what I wanted to do. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, that's a hey, Jimmy, man. Shout out to you, man. You're doing big shout things out. again, man. So. Absolutely. So, man, you said you've been on the casting calls and whatnot. Uh what roles have you got so far? Yeah, um, in Superpowers, I was a fighter. And then in uh, in Jeremy's other video, um, um, Roller Coaster 2, I was an anchor man. Okay. I like that sketch. I yeah, saw it. Yeah. Bro, like, that, that shot alone was like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 okay, so we, we kept saying the lines. It was kind of like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. We wrote it, wasn't good enough. We wrote it, wasn't good enough. And like it was, it was fun. It was, it was a really great time. Yeah, I like the way that was shot. How it, how it had, how it was vintage. Yeah, it looked like looked like seventies <laughs> and shit. They do an amazing that. job with their videos. <laughs> yeah, I love that a lot. Yeah, man, but uh, you try to tapping in like on some like some major shit, like actually like TV shows and like movies, like with an actual production company. I mean. I'm I'm going small now because like I'm still young, so like it's not rushing me to do it. But right. if it comes to me, I will take it. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I like, got you. Um, I'm still looking around for people who need roles, right? That I can uh, go to. So I'm just here, um, still looking, but I'm still working with my boy Jeremy on the side for sure. Yeah, yeah. Just get, get your get your get your name up, get your skills up. Right now, I feel you. I feel you. So you say you love movies, and so I'm I'm intrigued because I love movies too. So like. What's like some of your favorite movies uh, besides like Kill Bill, which is a good one? Right. Okay. I'll probably say, of course, Star Wars, um, Indiana Jones. Okay. That's Batman. Good one. good one. Which one? Uh, Tim Burton with Michael Keaton. Okay. Hey, that's salute. a classic. Salute. That's a classic. That like, that's a classic, salute. bro. Like, and then I'll have to say. Uh, it's a lot. Um, say Superman also, um, Christopher Reeve and um, Henry Cavill. Yeah. I don't like those. Oh, you a man of steel fan? Yeah, man, still. Yeah, I hey, am. Hey, man, salute. It's not many of us. I got to yeah, shake, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shake your hand. I got to shake your hand. Everybody be hating on Man of Steel. <laughs> People would hate <laughs> on the film, snapped. but that movie's it is hard. raw, bro. I've never right. seen it. I've what? never seen Man of Steel. I, it's, it's hard. A lot of people hate it. Yeah. They hate like Henry Cavall. Uh, I heard that it was bad, so I never, I never it was, watched it, it. It's fire. I love that movie. I never watched it. No, I mean, like, when, when I first saw it, I saw it from, like, 
okay, I'm gonna throw out other shit I knew about Superman out the window and yeah. take it from a new person's perspective. Like, okay, new guy Superman. I, I, like, I'm gonna take him. Ha- I'm gonna take him how he is and just accept it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hate on it. You know what I'm saying? Some things about it I don't like, but I still love yeah. the movie in general. Right. Yeah, I'm the same way because I wasn't really, I don't really, I'm not really a big Superman fan, to be honest. Only DC character I really like is Batman. Yeah, you're yeah. Batman, yeah. So I went into the Superman movie like, I ain't really going to like it like that. And I saw it in theaters, and I was like, this movie is good as hell. Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Batman is the only one that I feel like they really gave a, a full character development that, that made sense, like... You got the world's strongest man. Like Superman is legit undefeatable. Superman is kept depending on the writer and director. Right, and then he falls for Lois Lane. Like this, I get it. You know what I mean? It's the American story. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Something about it just never really sat well with me. To where <laughs> it was like, oh, I gotta be this. You know, Superman fan. Like Batman talk his shit. Like yo. When he's Bruce Wayne, <laughs> he like, rolling you know, any I'm, spot and just be like, "I'm Bruce Wayne." I'm Mr. Money. What's happening? You know I'm, what I'm, saying? I'm Mr. Moneybag. Like, yeah. yeah, this a fifty piece. Take that. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like it's just hard to make a, a bad Batman movie because it's just such a likable character. Mm, yeah, there's been a few. Which ones? Uh, Batman Forever. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those, come Joe, on, come, those Joe yeah, Schumacher come on. ones. Yeah. Come, on, come on now. Yeah, those are pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman Forever. Uh, Batman and Robin. Batman yeah. and Robin was worse. Batman, so. yeah, Batman and Robin. Batman oh and God. Robin was bad. Well, well that was the one uh, with Mr. Freeze, right? With yeah, George that was Clooney, the one with George yeah. Clooney, yeah. Chill. Like, bro, okay. <laughs> Who told him to say all this dumb yeah, shit? Yeah, all but the see, cheesy Yeah, lines. all the cheesy ice puns, bro. It's I'm going to be man. honest, though. Like, I the only reason I still watch that is because that's the only movie that really like tied in multiple um villains in in a great way. Like they did do a good job of tying in Ivy and Mr. Freeze. By in a great way, do you mean I mean these niggas still had Bane. So it was like, are you sure they did in a great way? But I say it I say it in in the sense that um Yeah, they had Bane and they made Bane look lame. That, that yeah, Bane they stupid. They, they 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 made Bane look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> like <laughs> that shit was so cheesy. <laughs> but I just say it to say that uh they did do a really good character like story development for those characters for one in char- that movie. For one character, Mr. Freeze. Yeah, Uma yeah, Thurma shit was yeah, stupid. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'll, give was, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Like it they, definitely like, like it's funny because like, this man said, "Okay, now you're gonna die." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pushing through some chemicals. I'm like, bro, that's not how. Okay, all right, never mind. All right. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Freeze, like his storyline was fine to me in that movie, just because it's like, all right, yo, look, yeah. I gotta save my wife. But I'm willing to kill any and mm-hmm. everybody to do it. So yeah, certain characters you can't just like throwing two villains at once like right even in the cartoon the batman cartoon poison ivy when they did her character it was a whole hour episode yeah right yeah like certain characters you gotta take your time you can't just that's why i was hating about those joe schumacher movies they were just putting <laughs> two villains at once yeah like we're just gonna give you everything that's kind of like what i hated at the tail end of like one of some of them spider-man movies how they were just putting oh all yeah oh yeah many. yeah spider-man 3 was the worst I that's lie. exactly yeah. what that bitch had like four villains yeah i'm gonna have venom <coughs> sandman hobgoblin yeah um probably was, i don't know who else it. and then like uh was the one of the amazing ones they had like the rhino at the, the very end <laughs> they had too many villains they had them like two <laughs> minutes at the end i'm like all right you're doing too much yeah, yeah. that shit was stupid <laughs> i forgot that the rhino trying to outdo it man i'm gonna put you on the spot real quick so you say you like kill bill yeah if you had to do Kill Bill three, how would you do that story? Oh mm. shit! Mm. Well, that's easy. Um, remember that black girl from the first Kill Bill movie? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, I would use her as the main protagonist, mm. and like she would get revenge on um on Uma Thurman character. Oh okay, yeah. Well, what, what she did to Vivica? Yeah, you're, you're like so, so like yeah. She, she, so Vivica's she killed, daughter. She killed a fuck out of Vivica. She, she yeah, her. yeah. That was she, a good she, ass fight right, right, right in front of her. Right, I, I'm yeah. like, bro, that's easy. Like a sequel, bro. It's easy. That bro. would be great. That would that be would hard. Be, mm. Would the little girl get the revenge? Or yeah. She? It, it, I mean, I mean, like then, and then, like, and then, like, uh, Uma Thurma's uh, child, her daughter would defend her mama, and then they would fight. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it'd be Darvis's daughter. Oh, that would be dope. 
I think she got to kill Uma Thurman's daughter, though, in front of her. And then look mm. to Uma like, it's your turn. Mm. Mm. Hey, Quentin Tarantino, hit us up. That, four, two, and that would go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, hard. hey, bro. That's hard. I fuck with, I fuck with both with, what, what both of y'all say. I'm telling you, I think that would be a great, like, like yo, even if the movie ended right there, because that's how they did the first one to right. where it was still climatic. Yeah. And it, it just dropped off. Like, I right, wait till the next one. But, right. yo, if, uh, if she killed her, and stood stared at it like yo what's happening beatrix you next like, you know what i'm saying bro, i'm like, like damn and it's been so long since the last one you don't have to like do a lot of time nah jumping. no no nah, you ain't gotta do too much realistically the girl would be grown it, right now yeah grown it would make sense mm. quentin hit us up 424-260-REP hit us up on our hotline <laughs> <man>. <laughs> all right justin so let me ask you man you do a bunch of shit. we just mentioned that a couple minutes ago so you pretty much an influencer. What would your definition of an influencer be in your words? I would say an influencer is is um, an originator. Mm. It'll be someone who, who makes influence in the world through their own way of seeing it. Because I don't follow like a lot of stuff that other folks may do. I dress how I want to dress. Like now exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like I do what I want to do. I don't care about um, what people think about me or how the world may see me. I just do what I do. I post what I want to post because I know I enjoy it. People enjoy it. So it's like I'm an influencer because I do what I want to do and just I make original content for myself and for those who also love it as well. Yeah. But yeah. So as far as the content, that was a good answer, by the way. I like that answer a lot. Um, as far as your content, like, how do you, what's the proper term? Like, how do you, like, brainstorm how you do your stuff? Do you, like, write it down, make scripts, or you just do it on the, some people just do that shit on the fly? Bro, I, I go, like, straight, like, I go off the top. Okay. Because I run better on chaos. I, I, don't, I don't write nothing down. If I feel it, I, I go for it. So like, <laughs> I was watching your video, the one chip challenge, because I did the one chip challenge. <laughs> <laughs> did you plan that? Well, of course you had to buy the chip and right, wait right. till you get the chip in. But as far as like what you did in the video, everything was on the fly. Was on the that? fly, it was not planned at all. Hey man, how was that chip? Because I did it and that chip tore my ass up. No pun. If you saw the video, it t- it tore me up. Yeah, because like that shit is no joke. The funniest shit of that day, like, I, I thought, like, man, this shit ain't nothing, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, like, I, I was like, everybody overreacting. It ain't nothing. You bit that chip like, this cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swallowed the chip. Like, so the chip I ate, I swallowed it. I was like, man, this ain't nothing. Is it? Mm? I, b- before, I, before I even say it ain't nothing, yeah. it hit me. I was like. I was like, you know how a cartoon when you eat something hot, yeah. they raise the hot levels to a red. Yeah, my yeah. shit said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, milk, milk, where is it? Now see, right. it fucked me up. Do you like spicy food? I do, yeah. I don't like spicy food, yeah. so that's what that's where okay. it got me. Man, okay. that shit had me crying watching him <laughs> do this. Shit. Hey man, I got you. Can you like eat some like some hot some hot ass food? I mean, um, it depends on what. Just like let's say we let's say we go to Buffalo Wild Wings right now and we order some nuclear wings. You better eat them shits. I could, yeah, I could do it. All right, I feel like Joe probably the same way. See, I'm when it when it come to I'm gonna say it when it come to like spicy food, I'm a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I ordered at McChicken at McDonald's and they asked me to give me a spicy McChicken. I was like, oh hell, no. I beat that shit. I was like, <laughs> hell, I was, that's funny. I no kind of spice. I ain't fucking with no kind of spice, so like, I was like, if I eat this chip, man, I might die. So I ate the chip because I did it because we had, I think we got like 150 people on our Patreon. Yeah, and like we had this. This is what was supposed to happen. So on the Patreon, uh, some dudes that's affiliated with our with our uh, team, <laughs> Devin and um, Eric, they were supposed to slap box <laughs> on camera. 
And so they fell through. So they didn't want to slap box. So I said, <laughs> all right, I'll take one from the team. So Originally, like, he was going to do the DMX. Um, yeah, uh, I was supposed to rap a DMX song, but I couldn't oh, I couldn't shit. catch the lyrics. So I said, <laughs> all right, I do the one chip challenge. So I did the one chip challenge. Yeah. I had some ice cream. I had milk. All Dog, that. That shit was Yeah, you're going to need. <laughs> that shit was funny. Now, see. I'll say this, as I've gotten older with spicy foods, and this is why I refuse to do the one chip challenge on camera. I sweat through my pores. <laughs> <laughs> like we playing four quarters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no. <laughs> like dog, my hair it, it, it lay down, you know what I'm saying? That bitch just fall back like I right. <laughs> we got the heat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bro, my shit be so motherfucking hot, I be having to take off my hat. Get some napkins, you oh, know what I'm saying? Are you like, one of them? You like, you like, if it get hot, I'ma die. <laughs> like, like, I mean, I'm nah, I, I can still eat it. I'm, I'm good, but my body, I it's don't doing know what shows. it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. Like, um, and I don't know when that started. I, um, while I was in North Carolina, I spent a few years to where I just really wasn't eating spicy foods like that. You know what I mean? And now that I'm back here in the South, really, you know what I mean? Like deep South, I guess. Um. Man, when I eat that shit, like I say, man, I just break out in a sweat. I be like, God damn, man. <laughs> well, you better than me, but I would stop. Be like, you know what? I'm oh, good. yeah, I I'm still good. eat it. I'm, I'm good for now. I'll, I'll save I'll save for later. I still eat it now. How do you how, how did you recover from it? Would you do it again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. <laughs> mm. Now see, I ain't doing that shit again. <laughs> Bruh, if I could, I'll I'll, I'll 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 eat one, then I'll do another one same same day. I heard that new one hotter, like that, that black chip that they yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that one that like, come in the hotter. blue package or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to try it honestly. Oh yeah. It's that Circle K right now. It's that Circle K. Uh, it's like the gate the shell. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna try it. If I reach fifteen hundred on Instagram, I'll do it again. Mm. Yeah. Because I'm at twelve hundred right now. I need. <laughs> Three more hundred, and hey, I'm do go it. Go ahead and tell the people. I'm gonna do the blue chip <laughs> if you keep me to fifteen hundred Instagram. You no laughing. cap. You laughing? You laughing at shit? You gonna do it for real, bro? I'm bro. I don't play, bro. Right, 15, I'll, I'll do fifteen hundred right, Instagram. Man, y'all heard it? Go ahead and follow <laughs> him uh, on on Instagram. Justin underscore infamous. I'm famous. I'm, I'm famous. famous. <laughs> Same, more or less. No, ain't no, 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 <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, go ahead and follow him. And like I say, or like he said, rather, he gonna do the one chip challenge at fifteen hundred. I'll do a show on camera. I'll put on YouTube. And I'll put on Instagram. Yeah, man, let's go crazy. With I might do two <laughs> at one time. Like one chip, another chip. At once. Oh wow. damn! You going wild? You're talking shit right now. Is what I'm saying, bro. I, I talk. I talk my shit now. I back it up. So, all right, yeah. y'all get the fifteen hundred. He eating two chips. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck <laughs> it. Why not? He eating two, chip. two chips. Two no, chips. it's the two chip challenge. No milk. No water. No ice cream. Damn. Right. Hey, I don't think nobody even done two chips yet. I ain't seen it. I'm pull a soldier boy. Be the first person to do it. There <laughs> it is, man. You might go viral off that alone. People see you crying. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna cry a little bit. Like, damn, yeah, bro. It'd be like uh, when people say, yeah, if you eat an edible and it's not like hitting, <laughs> you gonna say this edible ain't shit. Activated. <laughs> 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 this edible ain't shit. <laughs> like this oh, chip ain't shit. They say, yeah. you, you, you about to die. Yep, that's how it go. So, uh, Justin, what's your, what's your uh, creativeness? Uh, how do you stay motivated? I stay motivated by just that's a good question. Hold on. How do I get how do I stay stay motivated? I mean, I just shoot, again, I'm a giant nerd. I just watch all medias to inspire me, like cartoons, movies, anime. Um, through through that alone it helps me to create new ideas for what I can do or what content I can post or what events I can create in my head or mm -hmm. like what more I can bring to like the outer world. You know okay. That make a lot of sense. I'm a huge fan of anime for that reason. It's a, like a lot of the dialogue is very positive at, at, at its core. Right, yeah. You can unlock this power, you know, and be the greatest. 
Yeah, so. And I bet you get a lot of good feedback from your, like, your peers and whatnot. Oh, yeah, whatnot. yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, yeah, going through your page, man, it looked like you got a lot of engagement from your following and such, so. I mean, I'm, bro, I mean, like, I'm just a, a regular guy, bro, <laughs> like, and people see me on the streets, and I'm, I'm so relatable, it's kind of like, I'm just, a, I'm just a guy like you. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm not this... I ain't this uber famous guy. I'm just right. a locally famous guy. I hear that. Hey, you said your name, you Justin. I'm famous. So yeah, it's in the name. How yeah. you got that name though? That's a long story. Like <laughs> it's a it's a long story, but it's it's the funniest story. We got time. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> this is a it's the funniest story you'll hear. So, me, and my friend Trey, shout out my boy Trey Hall. Um, this was immediately after high school in 2016 when yeah. I when I graduated. Months later. We went to a football game and like <laughs> we saw these two fine females type shit and i was like i was like look trey i'm gonna go up to these females and i'm gonna say i'm famous yeah. so, so so then like they gave me their number and i was saying like, instagram type shit and and trey will tell you that when i walked when i walked there i walked so confidently i was like shit, i'm gonna get these bitches numbers <laughs> right yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm i'm from the mac like return of the Mac, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walking all confident, I was like, <laughs> "Look, babies, <laughs> I'm famous." That was like, "Nigga, who?" I was like, "I'm, I'm, I'm just famous." <laughs> like, yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, it didn't work, but it was clever as a pickup line. Yeah, yeah. And then, remembered and, it. Yeah, and then um, since that day, it stuck with me. I was like, I was like, I'm famous. I'm famous. Like, why is it click with me so hard? And I was yeah. like, why not use my name? Manifest it. Right. That's a good story. Even better story would have been like, hey, man, I went up to these two bitches. Like, I'm famous. And I had a threesome that night. That was like, <laughs> hey, so the audience don't know. Hey, we're going to edit yeah. this out. We're going to edit this part out. Next time, lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, I, mean, a- I mean, I mean, like, I own a, I own a cap and say I'm a Mac. You know what I'm saying? And I got these two bitches. Nah, I, I, I failed. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, get on the, you get on the Jimmy Fallon show in a couple of years, <laughs> lie. And we're going to we just hit us up. We're like, hey. Yeah, hey, Amp and Joe, take that episode down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to lie. We're I'm about to, lie. I'm about to cap my ass. We just scrub, we'll scrub it off the end. <laughs> we got you. We got your back. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, like you said, you was returning the Mac shit. You should have laid the Mac down. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I tried to, bro, but I was 18, bro. Like I was still like like, like a jit who just turned into an adult. I was like. I had much game. See, yeah, I was gonna say you gotta butter them up before you do all of that. You know nah, what I mean? Like nah, you gotta show them the nah, talk nah, game was nice. You know? Nah, 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 <laughs> no, it's not. I'm glad like, I stick with you because most of the time when you when you holler at a girl and you get rejected, it could be a little tough. You don't get you don't get nothing in return from that. But yeah, yeah, it could be tough to bounce back from that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, have y'all ever like hollered at a, a girl and then like she uh? She reject you and you just be thinking about that shit all night. You be like, damn, why did I do that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just be like, damn. I think everybody's had that moment. It's like, damn, I knew I should have just be, chilled. Hold up. It be somewhere like you just get rejected. You be like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Well, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so uh, do you mean a girl you met that same day or a girl that you know and you like? It's a difference. Actually, that's a that's a that's good a question. Great, that's yeah. a good question. Because if it's a girl I met at some mall, I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm famous. What's up? And she's like, uh, no. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I. That's a good point because like the ones that just be hurting, like ones you was like waiting to shoot the yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like you finally shoot that shot, and you like, and she could reject you. Be like, damn, I should have just shut the fuck up. Like, damn, maybe, maybe I'm ugly. <laughs> that's crazy. But uh, let me ask you this question real quick. Do you feel like uh, creative wise, like Jacksonville is moving in the right right direction? With like content creators, I feel like Jacksonville is going to a a excellent like um, it, it's soaring to entertainment. Like music scene Jacksonville is incredible, but people love saying that it's a small town um, that no one makes it out. No, it's a it's a small town with talent that is making it out that is being noticed. They just don't want to notice us and put us on that platform. You know what I'm saying? How I see it, I'm like. I'm like, fuck the media is like, if we stop focusing on the media and like trying to be up there with the big leagues and we, we do our own thing, we can make it by being original. You know what I'm saying? So 
like the scene of music is incredible. Yeah, for sure. The, the people are talented. They are dedicated. They are committed. You know what I'm saying so. It's like the music scene in general is amazing. Now this next question, you probably don't. You may have an answer for it. What do you think it's gonna take for like everybody to finally get together? Because you know everybody like to move to Atlanta. Everybody like go to LA. Oh, and that's, shit like that. that's oh, that's easy. Put your egos down. Because mm. bro, like ego will destroy a kingdom, bro. And I feel like everybody doing their own thing and not collaborating and not talking is ruining a lot of opportunity for us, bro. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, because again, Jacksonville is a small city, but it's also big for, big for, big for opportunity that can be made. But people are so to themselves and act like, because I hate, I hate the term, like like Jacksonville, like is it crap pot city? I hate that term. I hate it so much, bro, because it's not real. Mm. It's real for those who are who are crap pot mentality, you know what I'm saying? Who want to see people not make it, not elevate, not soar high, you know what I'm saying? So with me, I want to see everybody make it. So that's why with everybody, I clap with them, I talk with them, and hey, what can I do to help you? What can you do to help me, you know what I'm saying? We, we talk. So it's like, I want to help you elevate as much as you want to help me elevate. Okay. So so, so the equal grounds to to make it equally. Okay. I feel that. I feel like a lot of, um, I feel like I'm seeing that a lot more, a lot of pe- more people collabing. Cause I feel like we all like know pretty much the same amount of people in the city. Yep. <laughs> like you just said, uh, I don't know, bro, but the dude you do the videos with, Justin, know him. I know his brother. Yeah. I know yeah. his j- brother, John. He. He did our logo, so yeah, that's how small the world what? is yeah, when we yeah. created. I didn't know that. It's yeah, crazy. John, John Bre- did that. Yeah. yeah, John Brecken, he made our logo, so that's just how <laughs> small the world is. But yeah, that's right. Everybody just got to put the put the egos to the side and get to working. So, because so. like I mean, it's like, it's like it's like how I see it, bro. Like we all literally on the same boat. We're by we're by the ocean, we're by the river. So it's kind of like. Either, either we all, either like we all sink or we all gonna sail. How I see it, bro. Like we all gonna see. Depending on depending on you, we all sink or we all sail, bro. And I want to sail to new horizons, bro. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, 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 so to me, my my own ego and my own like self interest is out the window. It's, it's everybody over me. I hear that. Man, it sounds like you got the right attitude to make it, man. So definitely wish you the best of luck with everything, man. And Thank you're you, on man. the right track for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, again, like I'm just a regular dude, bro, who has like this passion to win, help help see my friends win as well. You know what I'm saying? So like ain't nothing that, that no, no one else can do. Right. Everybody can do it. They just choose not to. And it's sad, bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, also, sometimes people just don't want to ask for help also. That's another Right, thing. yeah. They don't want to put their pride to the side because a lot of people do need help. So, Man, everybody need a little help. Everybody you know? need a little help. <laughs> everybody <laughs> need a little help. You know, at the end of the day, and I mean, I, I say that genuinely. You know, it doesn't matter how successful you are. You could always be more successful. You right. know what I mean? And I think everyone has that thought. Um, oftentimes, like you said, it is the pride that, that puts us in a position to say, I don't need that help. I am already successful. Right. You know what I mean? But we all have bigger aspirations, even oftentimes once we've reached our level of success. You know what I mean? What we deem successful. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of, um, you know, working together, creating synergies and things right. of that sort, using, uh, utilizing resources, networking in ways. Because this, this is what we see other ethnicities and other... <clears throat> groups of individuals doing and becoming a lot more successful than us right and, and like and I'm, I'm gonna give you look, look, I'm gonna give you prime example like every every person who's who's, who's Hispanic in Jacksonville they're all collaborating together right. and bro I know this for a fact I've seen it myself bro mm-hmm. plenty of times and it's like why aren't we black people doing the same thing in Jacksonville we all feel like we can you know be the one and instead, it needs to be the collective. There is no, the only one. Like, right. The only one is all of us as one. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, 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 um, like the old term goes, all for one, one for all. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's got to be. 
but people don't want to see the against pride and ego they that you're better than the next guy or you're better than the next female so it's kind of like bro we're all human we're all on the same level so it's like you're not better than me i'm not better than, i'm not better than you so it's like might as well be great together that's yeah, it put it to the side uh and get the work done i'm just looking at the camera hey don't waste anybody's time also yeah, trying to work with them. don't tell somebody you about to work with them and don't want to work right <laughs> Uh, that's one of the biggest pet peeves. Yeah, that's the biggest one, to be that's honest. Yeah. Don't waste peeve, anybody's yeah. time. If you want to work, act like you want to work. Because and keep end. each other accountable also. Right, yeah. That's a big thing. That is definitely a big thing. Um, and holding each other accountable can just be checking in to say, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Is everything good? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, how are things going? How could I be of help to you right now? You know, things of that sort. Sometimes, again, you do have to lower your pride to say, I can be of service to someone else just as much, you know, right. so. All right, so Justin, um, what's something about yourself that you think that people don't know about you? It's crazy how, like, no, it's crazy that, like, people really think I'm out here being a player. Mm. <laughs> that's the one thing people keep thinking about me like oh justin talking to this female that female i'm like no i'm a single i'm bro i'm ugly bro like in real life <laughs> i'm really i'm really ugly bro like i'm not talking to nobody like that bro you know what i'm saying like people think like i'm some i'm some casanova mm. you know what i'm saying i'm on some bobby brown like n- <laughs> no fam that's, hey, that's go ahead and run I'm, with it man about. Hey, be chill, nah, man, nah, bro. bro I'm, <laughs> I'm ugly bro <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it till i die like bro i'm ugly bro <laughs> like like nah i found that ain't me I'm, I'm just a regular guy hey man you one day you, you, you use that to your advantage you know what i'm saying you know what I'm, but that's Hey man, that's that they think you be on them, so yeah, you might yeah. not be ugly, so. <laughs> bro. I be on this, bro. I be on this, on this content stuff, so, bro. I feel you because sometimes you got, sometimes you got to focus, put the women to the side, right? For sure, you dabbling them here and there. Like, you, I mean, be, I mean, be with the hoes like a week or two. Like, <laughs> got fall back, yeah. yeah then I'm like, all right, let me get back <laughs> on my stuff, right? I mean, I mean, I gonna cap and say I don't talk to a few because I am friendly. But like, but like, I'm not like a boss dude to where like I could pull anybody. No, no, no. I hear that. I respect it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, very, you know, very humble. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, like, I mean, cause, cause if okay, this is this is me now. If I was 18, 19, I would talk so much shit like, right. nigga, I'll put her, I'll put her, her, her. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, this is a different guy who's been through like relationships and like experience people on a more personal levels like yeah that's not who i am i hear that i hear that sound like you found yourself at a at a young age you know what i mean <laughs> which is always good because <laughs> some people it's a hey, some people our age they ain't find themselves yeah, yet they're searching so like you said i'll be on her, her and some people <laughs> be in their 30s like still trying to relax my guy yeah find your wife at the at the, at the 30 find your wife dog <laughs> <laughs> that's so true <laughs> like you had your you 20s was the time to be on them hoes crazy Straight up. <laughs> now you should be finding your wife i got and, a homie that's older than me be talking about that shit all the time I'm like hey man i'm gonna be honest i don't want to hear that shit yeah, you, already, yeah don't even tell me about your hoes yeah you miss your mark and if you was in your 20s and you was you wasn't on the hose. It's too late for you, Grandpa. Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> so go ahead and retire and find your wife. Have your kids, man. Go ahead and settle down. Wait, <laughs> man. Diddy, Diddy out here, man. Shout. We got a Dilly on on the side. Oh yeah, Diddy. Diddy out that boy Diddy. Yeah, boy Diddy. Diddy, Diddy like fifty five. Give him that props. Diddy living the props, life, man. Diddy living the like life. Got that young Miami. That's crazy. But man. I feel like he holding that down too, though. He doing his thing. He doing what he got. Yeah, do. he Diddy. What? Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. He's for supporting sure. the hell out of her. You know what I mean? Allowing her to do her thing. He doing his thing. You know. But what Diddy mean? could do that, man. He a billionaire. He, he did he, bro. He got like eight kids already. True, <laughs> indeed. True indeed. Both of them know what they're getting into. Exactly, man. So yeah, yeah man. Diddy, Diddy could do that. <laughs> Melvin can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin work at the post office. Yeah, Melvin, <laughs> that work, Melvin that work at the post office can't do that. Diddy could do that <laughs> shit. Right. That's crazy, man. But that was, that was a good answer. I fought with that, man. Oh, uh, Joe, you got any more questions for Justin? This been a good ass episode, man. Nah, I, man, I love that, this. I love yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. This was a great episode. Is there anything you want to lead the people with? 
Um, sure, yeah. Um, I just want to say that to those out there who are feeling like you're lost or like you don't know what you want to do, just just go out in the world and discover what you like and just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it isn't that hard. People make it hard because they want to be trapped in the system of like, okay, I'm going to find a job, be stable. I'm going to stay here for like 10 years. And whatever comes, comes. No, you got to go out in the world like I did when I was like 21. And from then, from years on, years from now, I was doing what I love now. Which is being out on the scene, meeting people, making content, being in films. So it's like, just believe in yourself and just go all the way. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's it. Good words. Yeah, by, I was going to say, that was a great uh, sign off, man. Hey, Justin, man. I want to say I appreciate you pulling up. It's been a good ass episode. Mm -hmm. Ain't time, man. Looking at camera right there, plug everything, all your socials, all that. Anything you want to get off, go ahead. All right, cool bet. Follow me on Justin underscore I'm famous on Instagram and TikTok. Follow my business page at Be on the Lookout Official on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and then I have a link tree as well on my on my uh, Instagram for everything for my interviews, um, my blogs, blogs, features, um, pretty much it. Yeah, y'all tap into that link tree. That's what I was on. I saw. Yeah, did my, for sure. Did my, did <laughs> you research. My research. You can do good, yeah, good yeah, diligence yeah. through that. Yes, indeed. Yeah, man. Sure, yeah, y'all tap in. My fault, man. Sorry. No, no, no. You good? Y'all click on that. Click all them links in that. link tree. I was gonna tree. say he has a ton of content in that link tree. So definitely look into it. Um, and that's why I did it. I was like, someone's gonna fuck around, and look at through my shit, and be like, oh, okay, he got he got everything all in one, which yep. is crazy. Yep. Uh, so I, I, I salute you on that. You know what I mean? You definitely flooded that with content, which is good because when people go there, they expect to see, you know, different things that they can check into and whatnot. So a uh, big shout out to you. But again, people at 1500, this man going to be eating too. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, forgot the one that chip fun. challenge. Nah, don't forget. Well, yeah. well, yeah. Our, well we have to do evidence. <laughs> yeah, that was 20 minutes ago. Don't if forget. If you want to come up here and do it, you know, we got the cameras to record you. <laughs> We'll have oh you say no milk no ice cream no ah, water shit. you see so, you see, I mean you see, this is why this is where I talk shit and then now I got to go through, go through it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah bring that chip up here you got the address yeah bring that chip up here <laughs> two of them you two of them <laughs> and we got you I bring one just in case you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just in case you forget yeah. <laughs> he was like he was like I only found one only chip found oh one. no I got, I got you. one I got the other yeah <laughs> I got you homie. <laughs> Matter of, like, matter of fact, I got a spare chip right here. <laughs> yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> hey, man, it's been another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. Your boy, Ampavelli. Mr. J. Hey, man, with all that said, we out.